Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84. A big thank you for joining me on another episode of Bello Calcio. Coming out in Japan in the J-League, we are managing a Shonan Bell Mare. So if you were with us in yesterday's episode, you'd have seen us progress through to the next round of the J-League Cup by beating Yokohama at Marinos. We beat them 2-1 in the game, 3-1 in the tie. And we have moved forwards just one game, so you haven't actually missed anything as we today will be playing Shimizu Espols in another cup competition as we look to keep progressing in the Emperor's Cup too. So, with nothing to show you whatsoever in terms of catch-up, we're going to get straight into this one and show you how we get on against Shimizu Espols. Okay then, let's run you through the starting eleven for the Shimizu Espols game in the Emperor's Cup. We are going to have Tani in goal, Hata, Yamamoto, Hatanaka and Butti Wangsupeng at right back, we've got Ghana in front of those as the RPM. Praysar, Nishikawa and Hadadi are the attacking three in behind Uchiyama and Tedic, who are hopefully going to provide the goals that move us forward in the competition once more. So let's jump into the match footage and show you how we get on against Shimizu S. Pulse in the Emperor's Cup. Players then are out on the pitch in the huddles. The talking has stopped and the game has begun. Gun. So an early chance here. Two minutes on the clock and Hatanaka gets the ball in the box from Tani. We are knocking it around. Please don't make an error, lads. Tani with the ball straight to Nishikawa. That's a great pass. He's played it into Tedich's path. Hits it first time and the shot goes straight in the back of the net. So uh, me talking up the youngsters in yesterday's episode was probably G Tedich up because he hasn't shown that kind of finish before. But as soon as he got the ball... No doubt about what he wanted to do. Puts his foot straight through. Beats the goalkeeper at his near post. Which is probably a little bit on the goalkeeper's side. But hey ho. We are in the lead. And it's 1-0 after just a couple of minutes on the clock. But Shimizu are coming back at us. Ball bouncing around a little bit in the middle of the park. They play out to the right. Can we get across and stop them? The cross comes in. Tani goes up and collects it. Good strong. Safe hands there from the goalkeeper. Who's reclaimed. When I can speak, put your teeth in. When he can, uh, yeah, lost my train of thought completely. So Tani caught the ball. He reclaimed his number one jersey and uh, started us off on the attack. But the ball is coming back towards us here. Uh, Schmidt's rest balls are building. They've got the ball in behind. What a great piece of play that was. What a great tackle, a shot. And then Tani with the athletic save to get up and get the ball as it was going in the top corner. And uh, Shimitsu aren't taking this game easy even though we are in the lead they are coming straight back at us and we are in again Hata to Uchiyama to Praysar he was just being capped by the Thailand national team so he has gone from uh, pretty much obscurity in the youth team at Buriram United we've picked him up put him into our first team and he's gone he's just basically skipped all of the national teams and gone straight into the first team for Thailand and uh, his form probably reflects the fact that he's one of the better players that have come through as a regen. And this is another one here. It's Butti Wong's ping. What's he doing in the box? I don't know. He's supposed to be playing at right back. But instead he's winning us a penalty it looks like. We, he has indeed won us a penalty. Uh, who is on this? Because Machida's not on the pitch. Tedic is on the pitch. He steps up and he smashes that off the crossbar. That is one of the worst penalties you are probably going to see. And I think we'll be taking Mr. Tedich off of the penalty duties from now on. Uh, probably rather put the young lad. Ted Tedich has actually gone a knock here. We, uh, we'll get him through to half time and then we'll get him off, I think. Because the time is just uh, ticking away. 33 minutes on the clock all of a sudden. We've had those couple of chances. And now it's Schmitz S. Pulse's turn from a corner. They've hit the crossbar. Tani goes up to get it, kind of loses track of the ball, and it's put out behind for another corner. So what can they do from this one? Nakajima is going to swing this one in. Comes into the middle, it's headed away. So I think that is pretty much going to be that. But no, Shimitsu is still on the attack. Fraser had steal the ball. What can he do? He's looking forward to seeing what he could do with it, see if he could use his pace to get from one end of the pitch to the other. Instead, the game just goes, nope, you ain't looking at that. Cuts away. So just before the half time break, then two minutes of added on time, and that is dreadful. That is like so we've had a terrible penalty, and that now is a terrible free kick. Not a clue what he was trying to do there. Uh yeah, that was dreadful. But 
The goalkeeper gives it a straight back and Tedic is on the ball. He's turned around to run at them. What can he do from out on the wing? Gets a cross up and in. It's going to come to Hatter with the, like, kind of jumping volley. That wasn't far away. That could have been goal of the season if that one had gone in. Uh, as it happens, it just goes wide of the post. So we are kicking off the second half. I am going to make that change. So we're going to have the two youngsters up front for the second half. As Taro Mito is going to come on for Tedic. Anybody else? Uh, Preysart probably needs watching. Uh, in fact, no, no, I'm going to change it. I'm going to bring Nago on in place of Preysart because he had a long time out injured and then he come back, got into the Thai national team. He's been away on international duty, come back. So it makes sense to rest him up. We'll give him the first half and we will let him rest up ready for the rest of the season because we've got a Champions League game coming up after this one and then it looks like we're going to clinch the league. So hopefully... We are going to be uh, celebrating in the next couple of episodes. But we are living dangerously in this game. Kind of taking it for granted almost the lead. Because they've had a chance to turn around for a corner. And then Yamamoto deals with it at the near post. And again, we can't get the ball away for too long. Because it is coming back towards us. But Hatter is hopefully going to deal with it. He does indeed. And the chance just drifts away. So 66, 67 minutes on the clock. Um, but D1 Speng is throwing the ball in Ghana is playing it to Nishikawa he plays it to Hadadi and then Mita to Wong Supeng what can he do with it he's developed so much as a right back Wong Supeng I think we brought him in like just scouring through what was available in the Thai leagues because they're one of the eligible ones for being um, oh geez, that nearly KO in goal nearly dropped that in the net at the near post but yeah, scouring the Thai leagues because they're one of the leagues that you can pick up players from that aren't classed as foreign in the J League. So uh, we have been using that avenue in to get some of these uh, young Thai players into the team. Also have some brilliant Japanese players coming through too. But I think this team is going to become a bit of a hybrid of uh, young Japanese and Thai players. And then, like I said, we've got the Moroccans, the Tunisians coming through too. So what a piece of play this is. Uchiyama, there he is. This is the one I was telling you about. This kid is on fire. We have picked up two absolute gems in Uchiyama and Mita. And, uh, well, I think both were involved in the goal here. Hatta plays the ball to Uchiyama. He lays it off to Nago, plays the ball through. And again, this team play seems to be a thing from the winter update where you can now, if you're a free-flowing football team, you can play those kinds of balls in and around the box, get the gaps opened up. We really are drawing defenders out now in this game. And uh, that was a result of that there. You could just see that we drifted in behind. And he managed to get the shot across the goalkeeper into the far right-hand corner. And that was an impressive finish. So 85 minutes on the clock. Only a couple of minutes left to go. We have a 2-0 lead. I think this one is pretty much secure. But they are going to go down swinging, it seems. Schmitz and Espols are on the attack here as they get the ball across. And they are going to get a goal back. So there's me uh, saying it was all over. And to be honest, there's another player that we looked at in the transfer window just gone. Disaro was a player who had popped up on the list from our scouts. Said that we should go and have a look at him. He's scoring goals in the league. And there we go. He's got another one for Shimizu S. Pauls here. He will be in the Empress Cup. But uh, definitely a player that we looked at. He's never really going to do a deal. Which is why we signed the two young Japanese kids instead. But... He was definitely one on the radar. He got them back into the game there. But luckily for us, time runs out. It's a 2-1 victory. Both teams having 20 shots. We've had 10 on target. They've had 8. What a game for the neutral this would have been. I know there's only 3 goals, but all that attacking effort, all those attacking options. And we really played a good game. And it was close at the end. But I think we deserved to get the win. And we are through to the next round of the Emperor's Cup. So then, let's have a little look at this schedule. As I said, we have Suwon Blue Wings in the next game. That is going to be tomorrow's episode. We then have Uruwa Red Diamonds. Let's have a little look at how the league is standing because we haven't looked at the J League for a while. We have a commanding league lead in that league. We basically are going to win the league in the next couple of games, I think. Play 28, 123. Goal difference of 39, 0.72. Gamba Osaka are only on 54. So... 
I think the league is going to be wrapped up pretty soon. How many games have we got left? Is that 10? One, two, three, four, five, six games left, actually. So my maths isn't always my strongest point, but I've got a feeling that we could win the league if we beat Uruwa Red Diamonds. So maybe we'll do Suwon tomorrow and then Uruwa the day after, and we can hopefully be celebrating some more silverware, plus looking forward to the Champions League if we can get past the Suwon Blue Wings. Right then, I'm going to wrap this one up here. A big thank you for watching. If you're at this point in the video, you've enjoyed today's episode, you're enjoying the content on the channel, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Every little interaction helps, whether it be a comment or a like or a subscribe, please consider doing so. But for this one, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow as we take on Suwon Blue Wings in the AFC Champions League second round.